Chapter 1, Lesson 6, Solve Proportional Relationships. Today you will be able to use proportions to solve problems. A proportion is an equation stating that two ratios or rates are equivalent. For example, 6 over 8 is equal to 3 over 4. That's a proportion. Cross products of any proportion are equal. So a cross product means you multiply diagonally across the equal sign. So 8 times 3 is 24 and 6 times 4 is 24. So what you could say is that 8 times 3 is equal to 6 times 4. So cross products are equal. 24 is equal to 24. We can use this to solve for an unknown amount. For example, here we have an unknown. We have x over 4 equals 9 over 10. Let's use our cross products or cross multiplication. 4 times 9 equals, now do the other ones, 10 times x. 4 times 9 is 36. And 10 times x, we don't know what x is, so it's simply 10x. Solve this equation. 10 is attached to the x by multiplication, so we're going to divide both sides by 10. For this lesson, you may want to use a calculator. 36 divided by 10 is 3.6 which means x equals 3.6. So to make this proportion true, 3.6 would have to be x. Let's do another one. It doesn't matter which one you do first. 2 times y equals 34 times 5. Again, you may want to use a calculator. 2y equals 34 times 5 is 170. Solve the equation. 2 is attached to y by multiplication. We need to do the inverse, which is to divide by 2. y equals 2 goes into 170 85 times. So to make this proportion true, y must be 85. Seven times r equals two times twelve. Seven r equals twenty four. Solve the equation. Divide by seven on both sides. r equals, when you plug this into your calculator, you're going to get a long decimal. We will round to the nearest tenths place and get approximately 3.4. If the ratio of type O to non-type O donors at a blood drive was 37 to 43, how many donors would be type O out of 300 donors? This is talking about a total amount. We want type O to total amount. So type O to total. Well, I know that the ratio of type O to non-type O is 37 to 43, so that'll give me my first, uh, my numerator. However, the 43 does not represent the total. It represents the non-type O donors. To get a total, you have to add your type O donors plus your non-type O donors. When you add those up, your total is 80. So be very careful what the question is asking. Now we're going to set up a proportion. Our total is 300 donors. And we are finding how many of those 300 donors are type O. Therefore, we put an X. From here, we can cross multiply 
80 times x equals 37 times 300. 80 x equals, well 37 times 300 is 11,100. Get x by itself, divide both sides by 80. And we actually get x is 138.75. However, we're talking about people. We can't have a fraction of a person. So we'll round to the nearest person. So 139 type O donors. So out of those 300 people, approximately 139 of them have type O blood. The ratio of 7th to 8th grade students in a soccer league is 17 to 23. Again, 7th grade to 8th grade. If there are 200 students in all, how many are in 7th grade? So what we're comparing, again, is 7th grade to the total. This is not a total, neither one of those. But we have our 7th graders and our 8th graders, and when we add those up, our total is 40. So our ratio of 7th graders to total is 17 to 40. We want to find how many 7th graders are in 200 students. So 200 would also be a total, which leaves our unknown up in the numerator. Cross multiply, 40 times x equals 17 times 200. 40 times x is 40x. 17 times 200 is 3,400 or 3,400. Divide by 40. x equals 85. So our answer is 85 seventh graders or 85 students in the seventh grade whichever way you would like to word it or in this on the soccer team so 85 students in seventh grade on the soccer team use unit rates you can use the unit rate to write an equation expressing the relationship between two proportional quantities. Olivia brought six containers of yogurt, bought six containers of yogurt for $7.68. Write an equation relating the cost, C, to the number of yogurts, Y. How much would Olivia pay for 10 yogurts at this same rate? So when we're doing this, we want to find a unit rate. Anytime it, anytime it asks you to find an equation using a unit rate, the first thing we do is find that unit rate. So the unit rate would be $6 or $7.68 over 6 containers of yogurt equals 1 on the in the denominator because it's a unit rate divide by 6 on the bottom and on the top. When you divide 768 by 6, you get $1.28. So our equation would be the cost equals $1.28 per yogurt or times yogurt. You take the amount of yogurt and multiply it by the unit rate of $1.28. So this right here is our equation. The second part says how much would Olivia pay for 10 yogurts at this rate? So 10 yogurts, that means I'm plugging in 10 for y. C equals $1.28 times 10. C equals $1.28 times 10 is 12.8 or $12.80. 
JC bought 8 gallons of gas for 3112. Write an equation relating the cost, C, to the number of gallons, G, of gas. How much would JC pay for 11 gallons at this same rate? So again, we're finding an equation with the unit rate. So let's find the unit rate. $31.12 divided by 8 gallons of gas. We want the unit rate, which means we need one gallon in the denominator. Divide by 8 to get there. And do the same on the top. And $31.12 divided by 8 is $3.89. So our equation would be the cost equals $3.89 per gallon or times gallon. So that's our equation. From there, we want to know how much 11 gallons would cost. So C equals 389 times 11 gallons. Multiply those together and you, re you get $42.79. So it costs $42.79 for 11 gallons of gas. Olivia typed two pages in 15 minutes. Write an equation relating the number of minutes to the number of pages. So minutes on top, pages on bottom. So 15 minutes and 2 pages. To get a unit rate, we need 1 page in the denominator. And to get there, we divide by 2. What we do in the denominator, we do in the numerator, which leaves us with 7.5. So our equation using M for minutes and P for pages would be M equals 7.5 times page. The second part of the question says, how long will it take her to type 10 pages at this rate? We plug in 10 for P for pages. M equals 75. So it would take 75 minutes, or you could write this as 1 hour and 15 minutes, either or. Remember, there are 60 minutes in an hour.